What's up guys, it's Mike. It's Sam. It's Jasmina. Let's talk about the situation in, in China. We talk a lot about, um, lack of a better word, perverts yeah. um, around the world doing these despicable things, and this is no different. Um, and this time it was caught on camera. Yep, the, the person who was being molested snuck these photos of a taxi driver yeah. who was molesting her, putting his hands on her in her private parts, groping her for 30 minutes nonstop. Only only time when he wasn't touching her is when he had to change the gears. Yeah. And she basically snapped the photos, sent them to her friends, and the friends contacted the police. And yeah. the police actually got him, but they only like de detained him for whatever, like 10, 10 days. 10 days, and that's, that's it. it. I mean, this, and then now he's back on the streets. Yeah. So unacceptable. It's just insane. The situation happened when she, she was, went to see a friend, she, she was in the back of the taxi. You might, might be wondering why she's in the front. Well, she was in the back. Right. Um, and then the taxi driver told her to come up front because yeah. he wanted to talk to her easier, which is the first red flag. Yeah. When she gets in the front, then he starts talking to her about, about you know, what he does to keep fit and all that stuff. And he was like, oh, tell me if anything's bothering you. And she's like, nope. And then he basically start, put his hand on her chest. Yeah. And That's the first thing. Yeah. And then it just progressed from there. Yeah. So then she took pictures of it all. She sends, and she sends, I can read that. She sent it yeah. like, a send it to her friend. She's like, can I even call it please? And the guy's like, yeah. And the, the person was asking like, where, where has you, where has his hands been? And she's like, uh, my stomach. And then some other parts that were, you know, more private. Mm -hmm. And then um, and the friend's telling her, don't make him angry. Right. Cause, uh, Cause he might do something worse. Right. And then, uh, and then as soon as they got there, the police was there. Um, I think this story, like, it's a couple things why we want to talk about this. One is the sp despicableness of what happened, the right. situation. And also the lenient, you know, penalty that yep. this guy got. Right. Secondly, um, we feel like there's some red flags in here we want to kind of point it out to maybe, hopefully nothing similar happens to you, mm -hmm. but, um, I mean, we're not safety experts or anything. Right. But there's just some common sense stuff that we we thought that we could point out, just you know, just in case, right? A uh, similar situation, then you know, maybe uh, something could have been different, right? So I think the first thing is don't get into the front seat, front seat, especially if you're a girl and there's a guy taxi driver. Yeah. I mean, you kind of have to think a little bit, yeah. Especially like there's so many instances of mo taxi cab molesters, yeah. You yeah. know, so so that's a thing, you know, and also abductors. Because people use that as a cover to pick you up and, yeah. you know, because you're like, whatever, I called for a cat. I think anything, anytime something like that happens, I feel like uh, the best thing to do, like, I, I I would always say err on the side of safety and be like, a uh, side of caution and be, if anything makes you feel uncomfortable, uh, first thing you should do, I think she had the right idea to take pictures. Yeah. But, I mean. How does she do that? I can't. She's on her phone. Like, yeah. I mean, maybe because, I mean, it was going on for 30 minutes. Yeah. I'm pretty bad at it. Yeah, I'm sure she found some time to kind of like do a reverse, right. whatever. Oh, yeah. So I would say in any of those situations, if you feel, feel uncomfortable, I would say take a shot of the driver, the yeah, license, uh, the, the permit, definitely. and then get out. Find an excuse yeah. to get out, get yeah. out of that situation. Now, obviously she's 17, she probably feels very timid and she probably feels very like, you know, overpowered both psychologically yep. and physically by this person. <clears throat> what would you do? You're not that far away from this age. Uh. Yeah, I'm two years, I'm 19. Um, I don't know, I would probably, it depends. Like the driver said, don't move an inch. If you move an inch, then probably he will do something. But what can he do? I don't know if he has a gun. I would probably just like unlock the door and just like, like, Roll out yeah. of the car, even if I was on the high. Okay, if I was on the highway. Not the highway, you're gonna die. Yeah. But like, if he was driving, because basically she was like, he's driving really slow because he's trying to get more time. Yeah, I would yeah. Just, like, maybe you're just like, out. let and, me like, out. Like, yeah. I don't know, just cover my okay, head. Roll. I don't care if I get scratches. It's just better than that humiliation. Yeah, I mean, you want to do anything to get out of the car if it's safe, right? Yeah. If it's obviously yeah. if it's moving faster than a, a you know, 20, 20 miles. Is, no, 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 like no, 20, no. 25 miles. Don't do it. But I mean, I would. Yeah, but definitely, if you could get out, get out. Yeah, of I would also. I would also. Um, I don't know. I mean, again, we're not trying to be the police here, but I just talking about common sense. I would also call someone. Yeah. And put them on speaker. Yeah. Call the police. That's and put them a on good speaker idea. Phone and be like, I have the police right here. Yep. And I would be like, this is so and so and so. I'm in the yep. cab right now, yeah. and he's blah blah. I would get, get the police on a call right now. And I think that person would like. I mean, I don't know, like. I'm thinking he would just be like, get out, get out. Right. Like, well, that, that's another part of the story is netizens actually a lot. Some people were attacking the girl yeah. saying, 
Um, you you were dressed too provocative and also okay, that's like, never an excuse. Yeah. That's never an excuse. That's never an excuse. Right. I don't care how she was dressed, not an excuse. Right. And also they were like, oh, why didn't you kind of fight back? And people are like, hello. Y even if first of all, she's 17. Okay. Yeah. Even if you were 20, 30. Even I feel a little timid about. Of that. course you would. Like people, it's it's. I mean, you're scared about like exactly. what that person's gonna do to you. Not everyone's not everyone's trained to be like, oh, put your hands on me, I'm gonna hit you back. Yeah. Most people aren't trained like that. Most people. That that's why molesters do what they do because they know, chances are that person I can I can molest that person. Yeah. Chances are. I think yeah. also this is at night. I'm yeah. pretty sure this is at night from the color from of the photos. Definitely, it, definitely. it looks like it's at night, definitely. so it even makes her feel even more creeped out. Like, yeah. what, if she, what if he drives to an isolated location? Yeah. That's why I think, like, I mean, but the thing is, like, he could still have done that. Yeah. So I he think could if even she had have her, kidnapped her. Yeah. yeah. So if she has the phone, I would say just definitely. call the police right then. Definitely. Speak her phone. Definitely. And then, um, I mean, I, I'm assuming China has like a 911 system or something. Yeah. I even, I even like, okay, I'm, I'm very paranoid with phones. Like I, when, when Yi and I first started dating, you know, like I, when I call her a cab to go home, if, if we ate and it's like a little bit late, I literally be like, call me from the cab. Like I'm paranoid. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, if you call me from the cab, at least I'll know if the 1% chance this guy's an abductor, I'll know where you are. Cause you're on the phone with me. And, and I feel, I do feel like if you are on the phone with somebody in the cab, it's a little better. Cause yeah. if somebody tries anything, you're, you're like, there's another witness yeah, yeah. right then and there. And yeah. they'll be like, where are you? Where are you right now? I just feel that way. I always say, call somebody when you're in the cab. Yeah. Don't just like go on your phone. I didn't know that. That's, that's mm. smart. Yeah. yeah. Or at least text somebody like him. Hey, well, whoever, wherever you're going, oh, she's texting. Cat. Yeah, but the texting is not the same as you should be calling that. Exactly. Yeah, no someone. one can hear. It. It's yeah, crazy. With all the photos that she took, if this is in the U.S., this guy's gone. Oh my! This guy's gone. God. I mean, you got so many photos, you're gone. You are. Oh my! Dude. Like that guy who molested the minor on the airplane. Oh, oh, um, he's gone. gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's, he's, he's going to prison. So, I mean, this case in the U.S. would be completely different consequences yeah. than, than what happened in China, which is just sad. And, and he will, I'll tell you right now, he knows this. And he he's like, you know what? I'm going to walk and I'm going to do this. Right, I'm going to come right back yeah. and do this to another girl. She should. She, I mean, if I was her also, if she was taking all the photos, take a picture of his face. His car, his face. Like, Chinese people yeah. are really good at this flesh search. Yes. Thing. Like, oh, people yes. will literally just like, just... I'm sure he has like a certificate yeah. in his car with his face on. It's uh, it's a bad situation over there, but we want to talk about it so you guys know what's happening and also <laughs> like the, specifically the situation because we feel like there's certain things that she might have been able to do. Let us know your thoughts on this. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.